Okay, so back with part three of my video, and I don't want to sit here and waste a lot of time talking about how crappy my cell phone is at this moment and end up running out of time. But anyway, as I was saying, is that sometimes you have to reevaluate your traditions, and sometimes if something is not going to help you progress, then you have to decide whether or not that tradition is worth keeping. Because sometimes traditions are based on, you know, um, I don't know, silly things like superstitions or just customary things that really don't make a lot of sense, you know. So oftentimes, you know, we learn things from our family members. And, you know, I'm thinking about some of the things that, you know, I remember hearing from that came out of my mother's mouth. And, you know, I'm not trying to cut her down, but, you know, I can see that my mother is not somebody who's very understanding about the world. She has a very limited worldview. And so you have to decide, you know, is that really, and it's not being disrespectful, it's just basically being able to be more progressive is basically what I'm saying. So anyway, um, so that was one issue. Also the issue when it comes to women. Women have a lot of issues that they have to overcome um, in general. I'm talking about, you know, like in this situation because of my hair issue, um, I, I'm believing, that I suspect that Karen Johnson had such a big fascination about the hair issue that she assumed that I was trying to strut my stuff at work and trying to probably look for a guy. I, I'm assuming that's what she was thinking. And that's not true. Many black women wear fake hair. Okay, it, it, Some of us have, have learned how to take care of our hair and have been able to, and that's usually the women who black women who have worn their hair naturally, never put chemicals on their hair, um, and they take care of their hair um, in a way where it has been allowed, it has allowed to grow without breakage. And for those women, that's great. But a lot of the black women who are, who do that probably don't have jobs. Like I was looking at um, uh, some of these, like these big women with these big hair, like this huge hair. And I mean, I think it looks awesome. And these huge, humongous, afros that just go out all the way they're piled up high and they're like on the sides and they just look amazing and i saw some of them on pinterest and i thought man I, that would be so great but that's that's the a lifestyle of somebody who probably like i said cannot find a job because that would not be suitable for work you know and believe me i think those those afrocentric hairstyles are amazing but you know when you are a black woman you have to be able to look presentable and I know that I've in the past you know when I've worn braids um, you know I've I've caught some some slack for that you know because it, white people would look at me like <gasps> they almost look like at me like how, how could you do that like I, I did something that was so disappointing to them you know and so you know it you go back and forth with your hair the hair issue is always a big problem in the workplace for a lot of african-american women and um, it shouldn't be perceived as anything other than you're trying to be well groomed for work. It doesn't go any further than that. If people see me out in the street, sometimes when I get off from work, you know, I'm wearing the fake hair because I just got off from work, okay? But um, you'll see that on the weekends or like when I come home, that's a completely different story because, you know, I'm usually wearing a hat. Sometimes I just, I just am experimenting this weekend and I was wearing my hair, a ponytail on the side. Now, mind you, my hair in the back has a lot of gaps in it. So, it's not something that I can do all the time. You know, I have a lot of hair breakage issues. So the hair, the wig, the half wig, I wear a half wig. It's like a partial wig that goes on the top of my head. And I, I comb the rest of it back or clip it back or whatever. And there's been times when in the past where I've worn like a ponytail so that I can give myself some variety. Um, no, it has nothing to do with that. It's about being well groomed, taking care having presentable hair, you know, like I, the way my hair looks, it would look horrible, I would say, in an office setting, um, the way that it is, you know, because number one, you're going to wear a little floofy ponytail and it looks kind of silly, especially with the clothes that I wear because I wear like slacks or whatever. So it's about being uniform. It's not about trying to be, you know, Miss America at, at the workplace. It has nothing to do with that. So there's a lot of preconceived ideas about that. When, when it comes to African-American women, I'm saying a lot of white women wear fake hair too, okay? But a lot of people look at black women and they start thinking, well, what's going on? You know, wh why are you doing that? Well, we have issues with our hair, okay? If we wear our hair natural, people are bitching and complaining about it. 
because they think that you're either trying to make some sort of political statement. Believe me, wearing braids it, to some people are it's a political statement. It's not a political statement. Our hair is different than white people, so we have different ways of taking care of our hair. Um, our hair breaks off a lot, and braids are a very handy hairstyle, you know, because you can go swimming, you can wash your hair, you can go wash and go, and you're done, you know. It's, it's very convenient in that way. Um, it's not about black power. It's not about any of that. It's about finding a hairstyle that's adjustable, adaptable. You know, so I stopped wearing braids all together and needed to find a style that was presentable for work. And I felt as though this particular hairstyle was the best one that I had ever come up with, you know, because it's easy for me. It doesn't blend exactly, but I will say it's a pretty goddamn good match, you know, and so I'm happy with it. Unfortunately, you know, Karen tends to think things about me or has preconceived ideas about me that aren't right and aren't true okay I'm a woman who has to work and take care of herself it doesn't go any further than that you know um, and then also you know the preconceived about women you know if a woman I have always been raised to believe that you're supposed to be presentable for work period I mean you have you know you got your little slacks you have uh, dresses you wear skirts you know of course they're not supposed to be too high um, you it's about being professional when you're going to work. It has nothing to do with trying to one up somebody or have a contest, you know. And uh, you know, and that's when you when it comes to how you're supposed to look at work, or if you're going to church, or you're going to um, maybe if you're appearing in court, you're supposed to look your best. I cannot stress that enough, you know. So um, I I don't really. I think that's silly. Like I said, you know, there is a difference between somebody who dresses provocatively, which I've seen the provocative look on a lot of women, okay? A lot, okay? I can, I could go outside right now, walk down the street, and I can start pointing it out. It's very obvious. There's a lot of women out there with micro mini skirts, low cut tops, very tight low cut tops, and they're walking around, and these people are looking for action, if you know what I mean, okay? They're, I don't see that anything about me has comes off that way. I think I'm a very pre presentable person. I think oftentimes if you are a woman by yourself, people immediately assume another preconceived idea that then obviously you're looking to get, you know, matched up with someone. That's not true, okay? All my life I have been wanting to be stable. Just have a stable job and have a foundation. That's all I've ever wanted in my life. Okay, I, I, I seriously, and that's the main thing that I've always been concerned about, which is one of the reasons why this whole issue frustrates me so much, you know. Um, you know, I think when people misinterpret or like they, they like to make up stories about women, it's very offensive and very hurtful, you know, especially when you're looking around, and I've gone to job interviews where women were wearing nice clothes, they had their makeup on, their hair was styled or whatever, and nobody's pointing them out. But I'm being pointed out because Karen Johnson doesn't understand the issues that black women have to go through. Well, that's not my problem, you know? It's not, it's not my problem. Um, you can try to explain it as much as you can, which I think I have. I, I even did a tutorial video on it. I, I, I can't say any more on the issue, but whatever you're thinking, you're wrong. And what other preconceived ideas? That people have um, yeah I mean it's just some of the things that people ask or they say are kind of intrusive and it's none of their business basically you know you go in for a job interview and you're presentable you're wearing you know preferably a nice jacket a blouse a pair of pants and some shoes and you go in for the job interview it doesn't you know, I've always thought that I was very presentable and, and just like everyone else because they're pretty much wearing the same thing. So it's like, you know, I think people are a little too, um, it's like somebody pointed the finger at me and so therefore it's spy spotlight on Maria. Look around. I'm not the only person, okay, who does this. Okay, I've seen some women with some really nice outfits, okay. I saw a lady um, down Truxton Avenue who had a really cute um, skirt outfit with, it, with a matching jacket. And I don't see people jumping on her case, you know what I mean? So it's just people who are pointing the finger. And it gets tiring, you know what I mean? It is, it, it's sexual harassment is basically what it is. So anyway, I think I pretty much covered all the preconceived ideas that I think people have about me. And everything that rolls around these people's head is wrong, okay? 
I'm a woman who has really worked hard trying to find some sort of stability in my life and I've had nothing but problems all because of outside people which I think you know I'm sitting here suffering for what other people are thinking or what are they're doing you know what I mean when they had no right to you know and that's what angers me so much so anyway I think I'm gonna wrap up this video I am so tired of talking and besides my phone's probably only gonna record up to 12 minutes okay so I think you know but yeah I think I pretty much wrapped this video up so you know I get tired of, of people thinking things and assuming things the only thing I care about is having a decent job that I feel happy about that's all that's I mean that's a very basic thing that many people take for granted and when people start you know when I look at some of these people who obviously got involved in this and the only thing that they can say oh we're Christian and this is what gets you your job obviously you're not suited for your job because you wouldn't be doing this because what you're doing is you're using Christianity as an excuse to uh, be more like to use as discrimination like a one-up game it's not a one-up game you know what I mean and I, I had no interest in playing this competition I'm not me trying to do the best I possibly can has nothing to do with me wanting to be in a competition it's about me being saying hey you know what I'm a serious worker I'm a hard worker I'm a dedicated worker can I be can I find something stable that's all it is it has nothing to do with this person this person I'm not trying to compare myself to anybody I'm trying to survive plain and simple and I get tired of people thinking well you know you're just trying to be better than everybody no I'm not I'm not okay I'm a woman who's been working for 20 years and I should be doing more in life you know and it's always because of other people interjecting and inflicting their ideas and what I should be doing and causing problems in my workplace I say enough is enough already wrapping up this video have a wonderful day